In the last video, I made this frame and these targets. Now it's time to add the electronics, the pneumatics, assemble it all, and make it functional.
right, I've got it all hooked up and ready to go. So let's give you a quick rundown on how it works. There's no Arduino here. This is a 555 circuit. We did some old school electronics here and that circuit opens the relay for one second and the relay energizes the solenoid valves that energize the air uh, actuators, which raises the bar, causing the targets to reset. So I gave this some thought and I originally wanted to put switches under here so that when all the targets fail, it would just automatically reset. But it got kind of ridiculous trying to keep all the wires and everything out of the way and keep it all bulletproof and all. So I went digging around in my junk box over here and I found this old switch that I made years ago and it's a bulletproof switch. And so I decided, well, let's make this like a pinball machine so that when you do something over here, it actuates something over here to kind of keep, give it some gameplay. So now the way to reset this is you shoot this switch here and it will cause all the targets to reset. So let's give it a try. Looks like it works to me. All right, so I had to make a few changes along the way. The first was getting rid of this half inch steel target. Weighs 12 and a half pounds times four, that's 50 pounds. And there was just no way that these actuators could lift that much weight. I changed the targets with a quarter inch steel, which lightened everything up. The only thing is I got to use a smaller handgun. I also added this bracket because this bar would bend and when it would bend, the targets in the middle wouldn't reset. I also added a second spring on these two targets on the end. For some reason, they were finicky and they just wouldn't reset. I added this bullet splatter shielding. This is splatter shielding. It is not bullet shielding. When you shoot these targets, the bullets splatter. And I know from doing projects like this in the past that that splatter can break wires and puncture air lines. And also the bulletproof switch. If you want to see more on this, please leave a comment in the video. And uh, I may uh, do a future video and build another one of these. Uh, I had this one on hand, so I'm sorry I don't have a video on it. But uh, if you like all of this and you want to see me shoot it, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss next week's video because I'm going to slap a coat of paint on this, take it out to the range and shoot it. And we're going to have a whole bunch of fun. So. See you next week.